Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Q4 FY22 earnings conference call of Aurum PropTech Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Ms. Asha Gupta from EY Investor Relations. Thank you and over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Stephen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Aurum PropTech Limited Q4 FY22 earnings call. It gives me great pleasure to welcome the management of the company represented by Mr. Sriram Athale, President Aurum Ventures and Director Aurum PropTech Limited. Mr. Omkar Shete, Executive Director, of Aurum PropTech Limited, Mr. Kunal Karan, CFO of Aurum PropTech Limited, Mr. Hiren Kumar Ladwa, EVP Investment, Aurum PropTech Limited. Before starting the call, I would like to remind you that anything that has been said in the call, which reflects any outlook for the future or which can be construed as forward-looking statement, must be viewed in conjunction that the risk we face. This risk and uncertainties are included but not limited to what we have mentioned in the prospectus filed with SEBI and subsequent annual report. You can find it on our website. With that said, I now hand over the call to Mr. Sriram. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Asha. Good evening, all. I thank each one of you for joining our Q4 FY 2022 call. This is a fourth quarterly call under all of management and I am glad to have all of you once again on this call. Today, we would like to walk you through all of Toptech's journey post taking over the control of the company from the erstwhile promoters in May 2021. In span of just 10 months, we have been able to build operations and generate revenues in the company with a hybrid strategy. We now have two SaaS and four RAS products in the market. Our talent pool has increased from just five to 400 as on March 2022. We would also like to take you through a synopsis of recently concluded rights issue and our progress on organic as well as inorganic growth strategy. But before that, let me take you through the strong tailwinds witnessed for the PropTech sector in India, which strengthens our conviction for this sector. To start with, the real estate industry in India is set to grow to US $1 trillion economy by 2030. It is estimated to contribute 13% of the national GDP. This is further fueled by a rapid urbanization in India with reports estimating 75% of the national income to come from cities by 2031. To add to it, the digitization has seen a rapid pace and rapid growth in India with internet penetration standing at 47% as of 2022. The rising tide of the millennial generation are leading to a meaningful changes to the consumption pattern and acceleration in technology adoption. In the financial year 2021, we witnessed over 40 billion digital transactions worth more than a quadrillion Indian rupees across the country. Further, a recent report by CII has estimated that PropTech investments will double to 1 billion in 2025 as technology is infiltrating every aspect of real estate. These tailwinds will lead to a long-term sustainable value creation in PropTech sector. Given Oral Group's nuanced understanding of the real estate sector, and experience of technology-led disruptions, we are best positioned 
to bring in digital transformation to the real estate sector. Our businesses are built with an eye for revenue and profitability and are based on strong governance risk and compliance practices. I am sure all of you would have noticed the operating revenue of 8.2 crores in the last quarter. This will go miles in creating value for all the stakeholders of Aurum Proctic. Aurum Proctic is also implementing a governance, risk and compliance, a GRT framework within the group and invited companies. The board will monitor the GRC framework closely, ensuring the best GRC practices. Now, I'll hand over the call to Mr. Omkar Shetty, Executive Director of Aurum Proctech, to elaborate more on Aurum Proctech's journey until now. Thank Thank you. Thank you, you Shiram. Uh, welcome, everyone, and thank you for your continued interest and commitment to Aurum Proctech. The real estate industry has traditionally been conventional, offline, opaque, and largely fragmented with a multitude of stakeholders. Our mission is to bring transparency, trust, increase efficiency, and improve consumer experience with technology in the real estate sector. This will unlock a wave of opportunities for all stakeholders. We are developing an integrated PropTech ecosystem for consumers and creators of real estate. The real estate value chain has various stages such as invest, develop on the reach and creation part, research, purchase on move in, uh, move in on the consumption part, use rent on resale on the utilization part. We believe that the size of the price is large in tech laid integration of this fragmented value chain and a meaningful and massive business opportunity in bringing efficiency for creators and bettering experience of consumers of real estate. Mapping these stages, our vision of PropTech ecosystem has four segments. Invest and finance, enterprise efficiency, customer experience, and connected living. Each segment has products and services under it that address a specific problem statement in the real estate value chain. We have further categorized each of our tech driven by business opportunities in two segments, software as a service and SaaS, and real estate as a service, RAS. In March 2021, we acquired 14% promoter stake and stepped into the shoes of controlling management of company, post which we increased our shareholding to 35.04% in June 2021 with an open offer. On 23rd March 2022, we successfully concluded our rights issue and thereby our shareholding increased to 50.04%, substantiating our conviction in this sector. We thank you all for showing interest in the rights issue, which was oversubscribed with interest from varied investor base. The rights entitlements were actively traded, reflecting the interest of investors in the rights issue. The allotment of equity share was completed on 19th May 2022. The trading and listing approval was received on 23rd May 2022. The trading of partly paid shares commenced today, uh, commenced on 25th May 2022. With this, Aurum now has committed rupees 343.55 crores to Aurum PropTech, an increase from our commitment of rupees 80 crores which substantiates our commitment to PropTech. With this aggregate amount of approximately INR 500 crore plus of cash and cash equivalent, which can be deployed towards the integrated PropTech ecosystem. Since May 2021, we have aggressively embarked on an inorganic strategy of acquiring robust products, experienced teams, and mature businesses in PropTech. In a very short time, the Board of Directors has approved acquisition of six companies and we are integrating them into the company. Our acquisition started with Cell.2, a real estate CRM with SaaS annual revenue run rate of INR 13 crores at the time of acquisition. With our understanding of the sector, we added a broker aggregation platform beyond walls, which added RAS revenue to the business and increasing it to an ERR of 27 crores. 
from SaaS and RAS revenue. Beyond Walls is a discovery and transaction platform that matches channel partners subscribed to the platform to real estate buyers, enabling an informed purchase experience and augmenting the sale velocity for the seller. After addressing the buy-sell part of the value chain, we acquired the House Monk, a rental management SaaS software providing an end-to-end -end technology suit for the rental management industry. THM has SaaS annual revenue run rate of INR 1 crore and services clients in India and overseas. We have further gone on to add RAS businesses in the co-living and PG markets by approving acquisitions of Hello World and Glexter. With these, we will cater to the consumer at the beginning of its lifetime in real estate consumption journey. We have also approved acquisitions of Career Socially, a data analytics company, and in past invested in Integro Asset Management (AMC). My colleague Hiren will throw more light on these in a few minutes. The acquisitions have been good accelerant in our quest to build the integrated PropTech ecosystem, and along with the technology products, have given us good tech and operations teams across the spectrum. In a very short time, we have been able to ramp up our presence to 15 cities, 500 plus people team led by mature operating leaders from the prop tech industry. We have observed, observed that many good tech businesses, including prop tech, have been struggling during COVID era and recently due to the tech meltdown. We feel we can continue to selectively acquire them to a conservative valuation as we have been able to do so far. I will now like to hand over to my colleague Hiren Nadwa, EVP Investments, to elaborate on our recent acquisitions. Thank you, Omkar. Uh, welcome, good evening all, and thank you for joining the call. As we have just announced, Aurum PropTech has acquired 100% stake in two exciting PropTech companies, Career Socially and Hello World. Let me first talk about Career Socially which is a company under the name of Blink Advisory Services Private Limited and is being acquired for a consideration of 3 USD million. Career Socially is a data analytics company headquartered at Noida and started by three experienced data scientists who have extensively worked with data science based companies prior to starting Career Socially. The trio has built a robust data analytics practice with SaaS based products and services for the real estate sector. Their SaaS based product is called the CS Agent Connect. Through its subscription service, it provides various value added services to leading real estate developers, apart from connecting them with the channel partner community aligned with the project profile. This helps the developers amplify and activate their distribution network, especially when entering into new micro markets. With another product under its portfolio called AutomateLeads.ai, CS uses the power of data to run a recommendation engine platform. With this service, they provide actionable insights to developers for monetizing their inventory. Another data science platform called Automated Valuation Model is being developed using the power of machine learning and artificial intelligence to enable transparency in price discovery for property purchases. We already have a strong suite of offerings for the developers and channel partners community under Aurum PropTech in the form of just launch Beyond Walls and Cell.do CRM from the K2E2 stable, as well as correct suite of products under the Aurum PropTech umbrella. The existing products from the CA stable and potential to build more along with the Aurum team and K2E2 capabilities will significantly significantly enhance Aurum's offerings to the developer and channel partner community across the country. Going ahead, the founder team and Aurum PropTech team are jointly committed on a business plan for the next three years under which we aim to expand the reach of their existing products, take them to new markets, leveraging Aurum's ecosystem and relationships with the property ecosystem, and we also plan to bring more exciting data science products through collaboration between the incoming team and Aurum PropTech's in-house data science team. I will now brief you on the approval of our next acquisition, which is 
Hello World Technologies India Limited. Hello World features among the largest co-living companies in India and is being acquired for a consideration of 38 crores rupees for a 100% stake, as already mentioned. Hello World is a subsidiary of Nestaway Technologies, which was backed by marquee investors, including Goldman Sachs, Tiger Global, and Shirati Ventures. Hello World is present in 16 cities across the country within India. They focus on the student housing and co-living needs, which typically serves the urban demography between the age of 16 to 30 years, representing millennials and Generation Z. Hello World differentiates itself through an agile tech stack to reach out to the target audience and manage the onboarded tenants. It's got a right product market fit aligned with its property sourcing strategy and a streamlined and lean operations to deliver its services. The founders have spent extensive years in catering to the rental market and have tremendous insights into the social behavior and consumption pattern of the target segment. Hello World's B2C play strengthens Aurum PropTech's ecosystem play and as already remarked by Onka, it plays a crucial role in serving a demographic that is just beginning their real estate consumption journey in the form of student living or as a tenant in a metro. With that, I would like to hand over to Kunal Karan, the CF of Aurum PropTech, to give us an update on financial performance of the company and the rights issue. Thank you, Ian. Good evening, all. The Board of Directors has approved the auditor results for the quarter in the year end date 31st March 2022 last week. Post the change in control, the company, after a gap of three quarters, has started generating revenue from the third quarter of the financial year ended March 31, 2022. During the year ended March 31, 2022, the company has approved and announced investments in five entities, out of which we have made the investments in three entities before the end of the financial year. In terms of quarterly performance, the revenue from operations stood at INR 8.2 crores and total income INR 9.5 crores. In terms of the full year, we reported revenues of INR 15.8 crores in FY22 the revenue was driven by the start of operations in the Craig's business under Forum PropTech and also from the operation, operations of the newly acquired subsidiary K2V2, which we consolidated for two quarters. Loss during the year was INR 13.3 crores. The cash and cash equivalent, including current investments as of March 31, 2022, was INR 102.5 crores. I would like to take the opportunity to thank the investors for participating in the rights issue of Aurum PropTech. Amidst challenging market times, the company's right issue was subscribed 1.05 times. The size of the issue was INR 343.55 crores. The promoter shareholding post the right issue was increased from 35.04% to 50.34%. Post the right issue proceeds and monetization of our real estate assets, our available funds will be in the range of INR 520 crores, which will further strengthen and provide financial flexibility to the company to capture future growth in line with its strategic plans. With this, I will now hand over the floor to the operator for question and answers. Thank you very much and appreciate your continued interest in our property limit. Thank you very much, sir. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles.
reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 at this time. The first question is from the line of Faisal Hawa from HG Hawaiian Company. Please go ahead. Uh, so, sir, uh, with the uh, current acquisition, this took like your entire uh, ecosystem or the entire, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, great range of companies that you want looks to be complete. So, is it possible for you to give some kind of revenue guidance for the coming year, uh, FY23? And uh, how, how do you plan to monetize this? Will, will you be approaching uh, the real estate developers first and get uh, business from them? Or it will be other way around that you will create awareness over the social media and you know try to uh, get customers and sell them and you know finding a house or probably finding co-living or 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 helping them uh, get a, a home loan. How will this actually work? And do we have any kind of live customers at this point of time? And what is our month-on-month -month growth in the number of customers paying or non-paying? Mr. Hubbard, thank you so much for your question. Uh, we would like to take the response into three parts. One, uh, with respect to acquisitions and how they fit in our ecosystem. Uh, we started uh, the acquisition with the buy sell journey, where we acquired Send.2, which was the CRM piece, uh, providing its uh, SaaS products to developers. We introduced uh, Beyond Watch, uh, which is a transaction platform run uh, in coordination with the CRM, uh, which helps the buyers, which is B2C, uh, take informed decisions for their real estate purchase and at the same time providing uh, a service to developers in terms of monetizing their inventory uh, with a higher velocity uh, because of the subscribe distribution network of channel partners onto the platform. Uh, once we have concluded the buy sell journey, we uh, then went on to acquire uh, the rental management piece uh, starting with the house mount and then co-living. Our acquisitions coming to the second part uh, with respect to revenue, uh, our acquisitions have a, uh, and the products available now have a mix of SaaS and RAS products. The SaaS products uh, are typically uh, B2B oriented, providing uh, enterprise solutions to real estate developers. And our RAS products have uh, are B2C oriented, providing customer experience to uh, purchasers and renters of the property. Though I will not be able to make any forward looking statements for the next year, uh, with the acquisitions and at the time of acquisition, we have a visibility of up to 95 crores of annual revenue run rate from the uh, five uh, uh, acquired companies as of April 2022. What is the figure? I, I, I missed the figure. Nice. It's annual revenue run rate of 95 crores as of uh, uh, numbers, uh, monthly numbers of April 2022. 95 did you say, sir? 95 crores. Okay. So, sir, I see that a totally new team is, you know, actually attending the phone call today. And uh, may I request that uh, I, I joined the call around three to four minutes late. So may I request that you, know, you could introduce the team and probably also you know tell that you know what were the previous assignments and you know what is the kind of uh, achievements that the team did uh, at, at that point of time with their previous assignments. Sure. So the team uh, is not completely new. Uh, uh, from the time we started uh, attending these calls, uh, we have been attending it uh, along with uh, Mr. Sriram Natale, uh, group president at Oil Ventures, and. Uh, board member on Aurum PropTech. Uh, uh, I also, I'm, I'm all, I've been also present on the calls myself, Umkar Shilte, uh, Executive Director at Aurum PropTech. And I also have my colleagues, uh, Mr. Hiren Ladwa, uh, VP Investments, EVP Investments, who has joined the team new and is looking at uh, investments uh, into uh, uh, products and companies and also integrating these companies into the ecosystem. And Mr. Kunal Karan, who is the Chief Financial Officer, who has also been a part of uh, the calls uh, earlier. In addition to this team, uh, with respect to the overall uh, team that we have now, uh, there is a good uh, operational bandwidth uh, at every product level, uh, including, the, uh, including the industry companies who are running these 
products like independent PLs. I hope I have been able to answer uh, your questions. See, the only thing which is in my mind is that you are having acquired the, uh, you know, it's like you know acquiring uh, a set of like 10, 11 players in the IPL, and you know. So how will these actually, you know, uh, all these players get together and score the runs, or how will the revenue come, or you know, what will what will cause the trigger for the revenue to come to Aram? From it is a question you know, I'm not able to really have a clear answer on. And uh, secondly, why are we not, you know, hiring more people from, uh, you know, the, the ecosystem which has, you know, created the larger companies, you know, like say Flipkart or, uh, you know, uh, or say handled the larger operations that are similar company. Okay, this is Hiran here. I'll try to answer a couple of questions. Uh, one is your initial question was on the trigger for the revenue. So as a process, uh, you know, we are uh, still in the process of acquiring and consolidating the companies that uh, you know we have invested in plus there is a pipeline of investments that we are you know continuously engaged on and at the right juncture uh, when when the those discussions mature we will definitely announce and as as a as a thumb rule it takes 3 to 5 months for uh, for any acquisition to uh, you know hit the revenues uh, until the uh, you know the, the the transaction fructifies completely in the form of you know our board presence into these companies. So I hope that answers the first question in terms of what is the trigger for revenue. So all these companies would have their individual timelines in terms of, and at least the announcements that we have made, we will have uh, their revenues hitting our, uh, at the consolidated, uh, consolidated basis, hitting our revenues in the course of this year itself. Secondly, uh, your question about the team, hiring team, uh, if, uh, uh, let me rephrase your question just to understand it correctly. You are referring to the uh, the operating team into this uh, into this uh, ventures that we have, uh, and then you are uh, seeking clarity on the recruitment of those operating teams. Is that somebody, is that correct? I might like you know, I might like somebody who is like the uh, captain or the coach of all these companies that we have acquired, and who really you know get these people to you know, work together, have revenues together. And yeah. uh, you know, which would finally lead to revenues and profits for Aurum because finally the shareholder is concerned about Aurum more than all these satellite companies. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, in fact, me and uh, you know, I'll be developing a team within my, uh, you know, within uh, within the Aurum PropTech itself. I would be responsible for that, which is to one, uh, you know, track the business plans and EOPs of each of these companies. That's that's what Onkar has already mentioned. Onkar had also mentioned the second piece. Uh, of, of you know the key focus area for myself would be to integrate this into the ecosystem play as uh, as per our investment uh, philosophy itself right so we have identified the four specific areas or the segments as onkar has called out and we would be focusing on this segments as our potential targets of acquisition as well as potential product developments that we we would be undertaking in house uh, when we do this, we have an overall ecosystem play in our mind, uh, which is catering to both B2C uh, uh, players, which is, which could be uh, you know four different types of personas that we have identified in the form of an owner, a seller, or a tenant, or there could be uh, somebody who is just playing a uh, you know there is a channel partner play there, uh, which is the second part, and third is the uh, the developer community. Broadly, this four, and then there are allied service players also there, right? So catering to these different types of uh, uh, you know personas or uh, customer segments, we have different products and propositions that we are working on either internally or scouting for potential targets. Uh, the second role, uh, you know, the uh, the focus area that's for me is to ensure that both the in-house products as well as the acquired companies gel together into this ecosystem play that we have in mind, which uh, starts with first, you know, ensuring that uh, the, we make the right investments. Second, once the investments are made, the business plans are aligned, the AOPs are aligned. And third, continuously, uh, you know, we have a forum called Entrepreneurs Forum, wherein we have all this investing companies coming together on a quarterly basis where we thrash out ideas, uh, new areas of uh, collaboration and growth opportunities and we take them up as projects to implement them 
uh, more on the collaboration front, uh, front amongst the ecosystem. Right? So these are the few levers that we have uh, in the very early days identified as the way to establish the ecosystem play that we have. Uh, but going forward, yes, we will continue to improvise and build further. Uh, we also have a uh, governance risk and uh, compliance forum which would also uh, have some of the metrics and we will uh, start sharing those metrics in the, in the, in the future calls as well. Uh, which would, and one of the metrics within that is to actually foster collaboration, uh, not just internally, but uh, uh, across the ecosystem play, right? So yes, we have those plans, we have those ideas in mind, which would help address some of the questions that you asked. Yeah. And Sriram here, your, your question was also that why are we not recruiting people from the ecosystem to run uh, the company or to sharpen the focus of the company? The thing is the companies which we are acquiring are already led by the subject matter experts who have already kind of uh, proved themselves. And as we go on acquiring these companies, they become part of our team. So for example, uh, we have given press releases where uh, Mr. Prakash from Career Social now is part of our team, then G2 from Hello World is part of our team. So these are actually, in this small span of top tech industry, these are veterans who have already made their mark on the industry. And now they are part of our team. And uh, to coordinate all their efforts, uh, Hiren has uh, joined uh, our team now. And Hiren also has a substantial experience in building organization, creating uh, networks, logistic networks, and coordinating multiple activities. So Hiren will be the key person who will coordinate it at all of top tech level. And with each acquisition, we are adding a subject matter expert. And uh, what Hiren was referring to as Entrepreneurs Forum, so all the founders of these companies we meet uh, quite regularly to exchange ideas, to bring improvement into each other's operations, and to build synergies. So everybody is very much hands-on and collaborating with each other. So we have an abundant talent pool now with ourselves. And as uh, I think it was not pointed out, but when we started these operations, uh, we were only five people in Aurum PropTech. Now, as on March 31st, there are already 400 people totally working. And uh, if we possibly take next month, we will have a team of 600 people who are dedicatedly working towards all these objects and the products. So we have undertaken a recruitment in an innovative way because then the promoters of the university company join our management and they are the best suited people to run this uh, further. I hope that answers your question. I, I have uh, much better understood uh, and uh, thank you for answering so patiently and so well. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. Participants to ask a question may press star and one now. This is a reminder to the participants. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. The next question is from the line of Amit Kumar, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, Amit, please go. Yeah, uh, I joined late. Uh, uh, one question I have is uh, the property uh, 
मैजिस्ट को कैन यू शो सम लाइट ऑन दैट कैन वी फेस दिस एज द प्रॉपर्टीज विद मैजिस्ट को लिमिटेड वाज वाज दैट द क्वेश्चन या द एसेट्स दैट वी एक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम मैजिस्ट को कैन यू थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन इट्स वैल्यूएशन sure so we'll give you a brief on uh, what we inherited when we acquired uh, jesco limited uh, there were two buildings uh, there one building was uh, uh, in a completed state which was utilized by the existing uh, erstwhile majesco team which had been vacated and was lying vacant uh, when we acquired it uh, and the other building was under construction uh, both buildings put together had a combined a uh, square feetage of uh, around 1 lakh uh, 60000 square feet uh, what we have done is uh, on the first building we have gone on uh, to lease these buildings to two marquee uh, tenants in the financial sector uh, one being htv financial services and the other being vo financial uh, and then balance space is also to be uh, leased out uh post leasing out the building in its entirety we will work out a path path to monetization on the uh, which is which is basically liquidating that asset uh the other building uh, was under construction uh, which was close to a uh, 40 or 1000 square feet uh we have completed construction of that building uh, gotten all the required approvals in terms of completion certificates and will be uh, following a similar path as we did with q5 in terms of path to monetization okay uh, can you uh, is it possible to give some numbers about uh, the valuation of the asset currently it will be difficult to ascertain a value or give a forward looking statement but we expect uh, the market to be uh, anywhere in the range of 100 to 120 crores for these two buildings okay thank you and all the best thank you thank you sir thank you a reminder to the participants anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 at this time The next question is from the line of Amut Anup Nambed from Equity Intelligence. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks for taking my question. So, my uh, so in the opening remarks, uh, the CFO had told that there is 520 crore of capital for growth investment. So, uh, this is basically including the 233 crore that we have already invested, right? Mr. Amit uh, Nambed, yes, uh, that's correct. Uh, the combined. Uh, uh, cash and cash equivalent that we have is uh, 500 crore plus which includes the uh, rights issue of 343 crores and the cash equivalent which is uh, uh, buildings uh, that we have uh, real estate assets that we have and also the cash reserves uh, available with the company okay so uh, and one more thing like uh, uh, when we speak of this four segments can you just name them once again uh, 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 the segments that i got was the ras saas and uh, probably capital as a service so what is the fourth one so there are four segments invest and finance which t- uh, which typically take care of the uh, wholesale and de- uh, wholesale and retail investments uh, for developing and purchasing real estate assets the second segment deals with enterprise efficiency which deals with bringing in efficiency in the business of uh, developing and uh, selling and monetizing real estate uh, the third segment is consumer experience which deals with uh, purchase and uh, uh, purchase and uh, renting of real estate consumption of real estate essentially and the fourth segment is connected living or which deals with uh, utilization and uh, increasing uh, the experience enhancing the experience of utilization of real estate assets uh, including uh, renting and uh, mo- uh, resale and monetizing okay basically so these uh, uh, segments comes under the seg- uh, reported segments of par uh, raas raas and uh, cap yes yeah, so these are the four segments where we have identified product opportunities and further the business is driven into two metrics which is software as a service revenue and real estate as a service revenue and business So uh, final question was on you uh, gave us a 95 crore run rate on uh, on the current monthly uh, this for the annual revenue. Uh, 
so of which how much would be the acquired companies and how much would be the in house i know that we are uh, developing something in house also do we expect any revenues to come from uh, what would be the revenue coming from the in house sure our in house products have just been rolled out and uh, we have uh, witnessed a 8 to 10 crore of uh, revenue generated here uh, a product called trex which is customer related list it expert experts uh, it is a ras uh, form of revenue and uh, the balance of uh, the arr uh, that we have uh, that identified at the time of acquisition is from the investee companies okay so uh, as if i understand right there is only one company that has started uh, revenue contribution right uh, i will explain this a little bit further uh, once acquired uh we take close to a 3 to 4 months to uh complete the acquisition and take control of the company post which the revenues are consolidated in the at at order profit so uh if uh, we have completed acquisition and control of two companies uh, k2v2 technologies which have got sendu and beyond walls as a product and the house monk uh which has got uh, 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 sorry monk tech reality which has got the house monk as uh, as a product and for the uh, balance uh, uh, approved and identified and approved acquisitions are in the process of consolidation uh, as we speak okay so from grexter hello world and career socially we have not booked any revenue so far not as of now they are in the process of uh, completion of control and uh, consolidation so uh, uh, if i end with just uh, 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 exploring further so uh, on the current 95 crore run rate we have not included any revenue from uh, the uh, grexter hello world or career socially am i right you are correct this is this is not a consolidated at the uh, at at autumn property as of now so uh, so uh, as of now what is the revenue these three comp- these three entities are doing right now uh, any any like uh, before consolidation and as we acquire So I will just uh, uh, this is hi this is Kunal. I will just uh, um, try to um, answer it in a different way. Look, this 95 crore that uh, Hunkar gave is based on uh, the uh, April 22 numbers, and these in, include all the acquisitions that we have made and the acquisitions that are in pipeline. So they are not absolute revenue numbers, but the revenue numbers that we. Uh, uh, know that we can draw after these acquisitions are complete and this is the revenue based on april 22 run rate of these individual entities so it includes uh, hello world and vector uh, revenue also. uh so seems like we lost the connection for the current participant A reminder to the participants: Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. participants to ask a question may press star and 1 at this time this is a reminder to the participants anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 participants to ask a question may press star and 1 at this time
this is a reminder to the participants. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. As there are no further questions, I now hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Over to you. We thank all the uh, uh, all the existing uh, participants on the call uh, for showing our, your continued interest uh, in the in uh, in the company. Uh, we intend to build this uh, further aggressively and sustainably over the next uh, few quarters, and we will uh, be in touch and keep uh, uh, we will keep communicating our progress uh, here on. Thank you so much. We also thank all the investors who. Subscribe to the right issue because of which the right issue was oversubscribed. So thank you all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, with that we conclude today's conference. We thank you all for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines.